expecting the same technique to come. You know, they've struggled through. That was actually the third push off. Well, I know she uh, took him close, but well, that uh, doesn't help. It's another win then for Mandel over Sharma. As we look ahead to the men's 75 kilogram category. And it's uh, Egypt against China. World Championship bronze medalist. Mohamed Aima against uh, Jung Kun, the world champion. China in blue, Egypt in red. Ayman showed us he's an electrifying fighter, as did our Kang. Both fighters testing each other out here in the opening seconds. That's a nice kick to the face there. Big looping right hand over the shoulder. We look at these short, compact, but powerful punches that Zhang has. He's getting nowhere with his grappling, the uh, Egyptian. Far too quick, these uh, Chinese fighters. Can well, they, feel what's going on. They've shown us time and time again that uh, they know how to lower their center of gravity and avoid being taken down. So it's almost as though they're reading what's going to happen in advance. I have a little, some medical attention here for Ayman. Nosebleed, possibly from the nose, yes. Some of those short, compact punches that came in in the clinch. If we keep an eye, you'll see Zhang really in the clinch. He makes good use of his hands there. And despite the uh, early action, only one point on the board in favor of the Chinese. Otherwise, it's even. So everything to fight for as we go into the second half of this first round. All level at the moment, trying to uh, work with the uppercut. So we have this medical attention again. And as you've said, Simon, we don't have many points on the board for either of these fighters. Well, Mohamed Ayman, a little frustrated. That uh, the fight's being stopped. He's not bothered by the uh, blood, but uh, the officials are. But with less than 45 seconds to go of this first round, we're all square, believe it or not. There's one more point there for China. Chung in front. 30 seconds left. That's a beautiful sidekick there from Ayman to get him on the board. Well, this is up for grabs. And this just, first round. That takedown earns him a point as well. And this really could go either way this first round. Exciting stuff here inside the Chiang Sports Arena. Ten seconds left. And this could change the outcome of the first round if someone gets a strike in. Oh, very close it was, but it's going to go in favour of China. <laughs> But that point differential is just a matter of a kick. I wonder if uh, Ayman actually realized that he was behind. He had the opportunity during the last 10 seconds to try and uh, put some points on the board, but elected to uh, back away. So maybe he thought that uh, he was in front. Well, he pieced together three points there with his side kick and the takedown, so he knew he had three points on the board. 
Finds himself behind. Has to rectify that in the next round if he's going to keep his dreams of gold alive. So again, the coach very active down there. But this is also uh, an incredible sign of what these fighters, the trust that they have in their coaches and listening to strategy in the corner, these elite level fighters. It's a classic example of how you use coaching to your advantage. You see the intensity of their focus with their coaches who can see something from the corner that they can't always see on the lay time. Let's see if Mohamed Ayman you see can turn this around. That's right in there. Kung pushes him off, but we noticed already uh, Kung using his hands a little bit more. So, and there's another takedown. Slight irritation now. Yeah. From uh, Mohammed. He realizes that he's in danger. Losing this as early as the second round. He is behind. And caught with the right hand there. As uh, Jung starts to put together some combinations. We're still pretty early here in the second round. We have a penalty given to Ayman there from the platform referee. Right hand from the Chinese. There's a little, yeah, there's a, it's for clenching. He's got the leg, let's see if he can make something of it. Look at those hands coming. And two sharp rights from the Chinese. Fighting out of the clinch. Mohammed tries to. And he just throws him down. Answer and, uh, some hand work of his own. Once again, we're going to uh, stop this to uh, clean up that bloody nose. He's taking, finally slipping away from the Egyptian. He's taking a lot of punches there from Zhang. And you see his coach over there. And let his frustration get the uh, better of him. Maybe made a couple of rash decisions there, Mohammed. Both fighters getting uh, an extra breather here. Sometimes hard to get the mouthpiece in with gloves on, so took it over to the side to clean it. There's a comfortable buffer now that the uh, Chinese fighter has. That's a long way back at the moment for Muhammad. Inside the final minutes of this second round. Second round that uh, the Egyptian needs to win. But he's behind here. And there's some great handwork from Zhang. This is what Zhang has shown this entire second round. Fighting out of the clinch with those short, compact, but explosive punches. He really is showing his class here. Look. You see how he's on the attack at every moment, Zhang is. Working on the inside and working well, very effective. He's making it hard. He's making, making it hard for Muhammad to really. Not working with single punches either. He's starting to put them together. Yeah, you get the sense. With a flurry here. He won't the mind it. Yeah, a knockout there. Well, there going he is. for it towards the end. Doesn't get the knockout, but he does get the gold medal. Acknowledges the crowd. And the crowd acknowledge him. Wonderful second round for Jung, where he really showed the difference in class. And don't forget. Mohamed Ayman was a bronze medalist in Jakarta last year at the World Championships. So that's quite a performance from uh, Chang Kun. Here's a case on this day. It 
wasn't meant to be for Ayman. He fought, he fought an incredible opponent there. Credit to him for really sticking in there. He certainly kept it close in that first round. And that's what the frustration is. He knows that...